Welcome to Shadow, a podcast that delves deep into the hidden corners of our psyche, exploring the darker, often repressed aspects of ourselves. Join your host, Bernard Alvarez, as he guides us on a transformative journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Bernard is a spiritual influencer, certified Reiki master, and seasoned teacher of shamanic, magical, and earth-based practices. With his profound insights and compassionate guidance, Bernard helps us confront our inner darkness, embrace our shadow, and ultimately illuminate our true selves. Prepare to uncover, understand, and transform as we step into the depths of shadow. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Shadow where we dive deep into the hidden aspects of ourselves to unlock our full potential and live more authentically. I'm your host, Bernard Alvarez. In our last episode, we introduced the concept of the shadow self. Those parts of us we've hidden away often due to societal pressures or personal fears. Today, we're going to explore a darker side of this story, how the shadow has been systematically suppressed throughout history. The shadow self, as we've discussed, is a fundamental aspect of human psychology. It's the repository of our repressed desires, fears, and instincts. But what if I told you that acknowledging and integrating your shadow isn't just a personal journey, but a spiritual one as well? And what if I suggested that for millennia, forces have been at work to keep us in the dark about our shadow selves? The concept of the shadow self isn't new. It's been around for as long as humanity has existed. Yet, throughout history, powerful institutions, whether religious or political, have systematically suppressed this aspect of our being. Why? Because when we truly understand and integrate our shadow, we become empowered, harder to control, and more in tune with our true selves. Today, we'll uncover how this suppression has played out across different eras and discuss how spiritual practices, especially those rooted in the occult and magic, have always called on us to embrace our shadow for greater spiritual power. Let's start by looking at how the idea of the shadow self has been suppressed throughout history. From ancient times to the present day, various religious and political institutions have played a role in keeping people disconnected from their shadow. Many religions, while offering solace, and moral guidance have also been instrumental in suppressing certain aspects of human nature. The emphasis on sin and guilt, for instance, can lead to the demonization of natural desires and instincts. The shadow, with its raw energy, can be seen as a threat to the established order and therefore must be suppressed. In many traditional religious contexts, Certain human characteristics like desire, anger, and even curiosity have been labeled as sinful or dangerous. For example, in Christian doctrine, the concept of original sin introduces the idea that we are born with an inherent flaw, a shadow that must be overcome or repressed. The focus on sin and the fear of damnation have often led people to reject parts of themselves that don't align with what is deemed holy or pure. By externalizing the evil within us and projecting it onto others or onto abstract entities like the devil, 
religious authorities have maintained control by keeping people in fear of their own nature. Politics has also played a role in shadow suppression. Power structures often benefit from a population that is fearful and divided. By demonizing certain groups or ideologies, these structures can maintain control. Fear, anger, and hatred. All shadow qualities can be manipulated to serve political ends. Political systems have and still use the concept of the shadow self to maintain power. Totalitarian regimes, for instance, often suppress individuality and enforce conformity by demonizing traits like dissent, ambition, or even artistic expression. These regimes understand that a populace that is fully integrated, aware of, and accepting of their shadow is harder to control. They use propaganda to instill fear, ensuring that people remain divided within themselves and, by extension, divided from each other. Throughout history, the suppression of the shadow has been a tool for control. When people are afraid of their own nature, they become more compliant, more willing to follow orders, and less likely to question authority. By keeping us disconnected from our shadow, these institutions have effectively dimmed our inner light, keeping us from realizing our true potential. But it wasn't always this way. Ancient cultures, from the pagans to the shamans, celebrated the entirety of the human experience. They understood that the shadow, with its raw power, was a vital part of our spiritual journey. Occult and magical traditions have long explored the depths of the psyche, recognizing the shadow as a source of immense potential. Now let's shift our focus to how shamanic, pagan, occult, and magical practices view the shadow self. These traditions have always understood that true spiritual power comes from integration, not suppression. In occult practices, the shadow is often seen as a source of great power. Rather than something to be feared, it is something to be embraced and integrated. This perspective is reflected in the practice of shadow work which involves consciously exploring the darker aspects of the self to bring them into the light of awareness. By doing so, we not only heal, but also unlock parts of ourselves that are vital to our spiritual growth and empowerment. The Kabbalistic Tree of Life offers a profound example of this integration. At the top of the tree is Keter, the crown, representing pure, undivided divine energy. As this energy flows downward, it splits into the opposing forces of Chakma wisdom and Bina understanding. These two Sephiroth represent the duality inherent in all things light and dark, masculine and feminine, active and passive. Yet despite this split, these energies are united in Keter reminding us that all dualities ultimately come from and return to the same source. This unity is what spiritual practices encourage us to achieve within ourselves. By integrating our shadow, those parts of us that we may have been taught to reject, we become whole. This integration enhances our spiritual power allowing us to connect more deeply with the divine and with our true selves. In many magical traditions, rituals and practices are designed specifically to facilitate this integration, whether it's through the invocation of deities, the use of symbols, or the casting of spells. The goal is often to bring together the conscious and unconscious aspects of the self. When we do this, we can manifest our desires more effectively 
and live more authentically. For example, shamanism, a spiritual practice rooted in ancient traditions, offers profound insights into the integration of the shadow self. A core component of shamanic practice is the journey, a state of altered consciousness accessed through drumming, chanting, or other techniques. This journey allows the shaman to interact with spirit guides and explore both the upper and lower worlds. The lower world in shamanic cosmology is often associated with the unconscious mind, the realm of the shadow self. By journeying to this underworld, the shaman encounters the darker aspects of the psyche. These encounters can be challenging, but they are essential for personal growth and healing. The shaman may encounter animal spirit guides or power animals that represent specific shadow qualities. For instance, a snake might symbolize transformation and hidden wisdom, while a bear might represent strength and grounding. Through interaction with these spirit guides, the shaman can gain a deeper understanding of their shadow self. The goal is not to suppress or deny these aspects, but to bring them into conscious awareness. By acknowledging and integrating the shadow, the shaman can harness its power and use it for personal and spiritual growth. Ritual is another crucial element of shamanic practice that facilitates shadow integration. Rituals often involve symbolism and physical actions that correspond to inner psychological processes. For example, a sweat lodge ceremony, a common practice in many indigenous cultures, can be seen as a symbolic journey to the underworld. The heat and darkness of the lodge create a space for introspection and confrontation with the shadow self. Once the shadow has been encountered and understood, the shaman can begin to integrate it into their conscious life. This process might involve creating a personal power object or altar dedicated to the shadow aspects. It could also involve developing rituals to honor and transform these qualities. For instance, a shaman who has encountered a shadow aspect of anger might create a ritual involving fire to transform this energy into passion and creativity. By engaging in these practices, the shaman ultimately aims to achieve a state of soul retrieval. This involves reclaiming lost or fragmented parts of the self, including those aspects that have been banished to the shadow. Through the integration of the shadow, the shaman becomes a more whole and powerful individual capable of living in harmony with both the light and dark aspects of their being. It's important to note that this is just one example of how shadow integration is approached in shamanic practices. There is a vast diversity of shamanic traditions, each with its own unique methods and beliefs. Now, let's talk about some practical exercises you can use to better understand and integrate your shadow from a spiritual perspective. Shadow journaling. Start by setting aside some time each day to write about the traits or behaviors you find difficult to accept in yourself. Reflect on where these feelings come from. Are they truly your own or have they been instilled in you by societal or familial expectations? By bringing these aspects into your conscious awareness, you can begin to understand and integrate them. Mirror work. Stand in front of a mirror and look into your own eyes. As you do, speak aloud the qualities you find challenging about yourself. 
acknowledge them without judgment. This exercise helps you to face your shadow directly and begin the process of acceptance. Meditative Visualization Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Visualize yourself descending into a dark cave, symbolizing your unconscious mind. As you explore this cave, allow yourself to encounter aspects of your shadow. These might appear as symbols, figures, or even memories. Engage with them, ask them what they need, and offer them compassion and understanding. Kabbalistic Reflection Spend some time contemplating the Kabbalistic tree of life. Focus on the flow of energy from Keter down to Chokma and Bina, and reflect on how these opposites are united in the higher source. Consider how this concept applies to your own life, how your own dualities can be reconciled through integration. Remember, Exploring the shadow can be challenging, but it's also incredibly liberating. By embracing our whole selves, we unlock a wellspring of creativity, power, and authenticity. Let's end today's episode with a short meditation to help you connect with and integrate your shadow self. Find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let go of any tension you might be holding in your body. Continue to breathe deeply and evenly, allowing yourself to relax more with each breath. Now imagine a warm golden light surrounding you, filling you with a sense of peace and safety. This light represents your higher self, your true essence. As you bask in this light, begin to invite the darker aspects of yourself to come forward. These might appear as feelings, images, or even words in your mind. Allow these aspects to step into the light with you. There is no need to force anything. Just let them come naturally. As each one appears, acknowledge it with kindness and understanding. Say to each aspect, I see you. I accept you. and I welcome you into the light. Feel the warmth of the golden light growing stronger as you integrate these aspects of your shadow. Know that by doing so, you are becoming more whole, more powerful, and more authentically you. When you feel ready, take one more deep breath in and as you exhale, slowly open your eyes, bringing this sense of wholeness with you into your day. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. Remember, the path to true empowerment lies in embracing all parts of yourself, both the light and the shadow. Until next time, Stay connected, stay integrated, and keep exploring the depths of your being. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Shadow. If you found value in our discussion today, please share this podcast with others who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. 
And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Feel free to reach out to me on social media or through my website. Until we meet again, may you walk the path of integration with courage and grace. I love you and blessed be. Shadow is created by Bernard Alvarez and brought to you by the generosity of our supporting members. Thank you for your continued support and dedication.